In this video, we're going to take a look at an example uh, of an integral that requires integration by parts, but it needs integration by parts more than once. This is a very common problem when you do uh, integration by parts integrals. What happens is you have an integral of u dv, as we well know, and it equals u times v minus the integral of v du. Now, what I want to look at is this guy, the integral of the v du. Oftentimes, this integral does become simpler, and we compute it, and we're done. Uh, however, if this integral here is still relatively ugly or still has a product or something like that, you might need integration by parts a second time for him or possibly a third time for the next one. And you wind up getting these uh, nested integration by parts that you need over and over uh, again. So uh, let me just show you how that's going to look when we uh, do an example. So here we go. We've got a product here uh, in our integral. So that's going to tip us off that, hey, this might be integration by parts. So let's make a decision here. Uh, I think uh, based off of our, our previous videos here, I think we'll know that u is x squared and the dv is going to be cosine 2x. Uh, the du will be 2x dx and the v without going through a lot of algebra will be 1 half sine 2x. And I'm not really going to explain too much of why these things are, you know, what they are. These are just basic integrals and derivatives to get these things. Uh, I hope that we, you know, know how to do uh, this basic stuff so we can focus on the, the main task here. So here we go. We have our four terms here. I'm ready for integration by parts. So let me plug these guys in and see what we get. Right, we get um, u times v, right, u times v, so one-half x squared sine 2x minus the integral of v du, v du. All right now, uh, one thing I notice here is that I have some constants like a 2 and a 1 half. I think I'll pull those guys outside the integral. And actually, this is coincidental. I didn't plan on this, but the 2 and the 1 half cancel each other, so there's actually not anything even to write out here. Uh, but on the inside, we would have an x sine of 2x dx, right? So we would have integral of v du for this last part here. All right, but then here's exactly what I'm talking about. You, know, you take a look at this guy here, and you say, uh-oh, um, I still have a product, and I don't know how to integrate this guy. This isn't a very easy integral to do. So, in fact, we have to use integration by parts a second time. Let's do that. I'll change colors to pink here. Um, here, I think a, a good choice would be uh, to make ux and dv equal to sine 2x. The du would be 1, and the v would be, uh, let's see, that'd be uh, negative 1 half cosine 2x. So, we'll kind of running out of space there. Um, so, yeah, so this would be our four terms ready for integration by parts um, just on this term just on this term so we're actually going to keep the first term here we'd have one half x squared sine of 2x all right now here's where you have to be kind of careful with your notation um, you can't just write minus and then off you go right or especially if you had a, a constant out here right you, you can't just jot that constant down you have to be careful to um, write down correct brackets or parentheses and make sure that we're grouping all this as one packet. This, this is all together what I'm about to do. So I'll put a, a bracket down just to keep everything together. And we'll have um, u times v, so negative 1 half x cosine 2x minus the integral, minus the integral of v du, v du. I'll pull the minus one half out. I'll make a plus, and then a cosine of two x. Close bracket, and finally, after two uses of integration by parts, this is an integral I can actually do. So, so I feel pretty good about that. So, final answer. Here we go. Uh, one half x squared sine two x. And then let's not forget to distribute this negative to all these terms. So minus a negative makes it plus one half x cosine two x. And then distribute that negative to the second term here. We get a uh, minus. 
All right, we'd have a one half as a tag along constant. Integral of cosine two x would be one half sine two x. So I'll take the half and the half and make a fourth. Sine two x. And then of course we'd have a plus c. So um, you see what 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 the underlying cause of this uh, multiple integration by parts was was this exponent of two right here. The first time it reduced reduced down to just an x, and then the second time it finally disappeared. Right, and so we'll see this happen a lot, especially with integrals that have x to some power here. All right, so just make sure you keep an eye on that. Um, you know, if this had been a three x to the third, we really would have been in trouble because we would have had to do this one, two, three times, and they're nested every time. Uh, so you have to be very careful with your parentheses. Okay, so hopefully that helps you um, understand integration by parts a little bit better. Um, if you want to check out some more integration by parts videos, uh, visit my website, fireflylectures.com.